Hey you guys, today we will trying out the new Xtool S1 laser machine. We will be making this inlay over here. Very, very simple, cute inlay. It was really quick to make and an inlay like this really can, you know, make your woodworking projects look a little notch level higher. So really easy to do. I am going to show you all the settings I used and how I do it. And this is our box with the inlay. Let's get right into it and let's try out this new machine. Now I think this is a great time for me to tell you that the Xtool S1, it's finally out right now. You can purchase it from their website. I will put the link in the description below. If you do decide to use my link, um, just so you know, it is an affiliate link. That means to no extra cost to you, I will get a commission. And uh, if you purchase the Xtool S1, now you will also get a free honeycomb grid and a free air assist. And they also have an early bird special. If you use the link and the code in the description below, I have a code over there and you purchase anything from them in the next few days that is over $2,000, then that code will give you an extra $200 off. So that's a great uh, coupon, $200 off on your purchase. Now here is my box and I roughly cut a piece of walnut that will fit as a top. It's still a, a few millimeter uh, larger, but that's okay because I'll send it when it's all done after I do the rabbit and it fits on it as a lid. So let's go to the machine and first we have to create a pocket into this piece of walnut where our inlay is going to go. Now, when I put my design, you see the grain is going up and down. I want my cat to be up and down as well. So gonna go to the laser machine let's go set it up and we'll see what we get now here is our machine i am going to place my material right here under the laser module i moved the laser module so i have this cross hairs right on my piece of walnut and then i'm gonna go to the computer and let me start a screen recording just so you can see exactly what i'm seeing all right well i put the walnut piece over here and the uh, crosshairs from the laser module. I just pulled it over the walnut piece and then into the Xtool creative space. I will go under framing over here where is this button where it says distance and I'm going to push this button and look at these little pins over here. You see it's taking focus. It's measuring exactly the distance between the laser and the wood and now we have perfect focus. Now it's time to frame. To frame my material, I will go over here where it says start marking and now we have this dialogue and here is what we need to do. I am going to move this crosshairs to the left top corner and then I'm going to push this button. Let me show you the button, the button over here in the front of the machine. So when I, when I tell you I'm pushing the button, that's the button I'm pushing. Then I'm going to move on to the right bottom corner and put my X over there and push the button again. There we go. Now we have our coordinates. I am going to close the lid of the machine. I'm going to say done on the screen. And then you see this green square that we have here. This is our piece of material. That's our wood. So now I'm going to select my kitty cat. Oop. I should group them first. Let's group those guys. Select them all, right click, group. So now when I move them, they come together. And now I can center it however I see fit. What looks good? Maybe something like this. Fairly centered, I say. Let's see. Is that what I want the kitty cat? Maybe a little bit more to the left. So we see a, we a very good representation of what, where the cat will be on the wood. So I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave it like that. And now for the settings for my cat, I am going to click on it and then go to engrave. And that's what's going to look like. I'm going to put power 100. And for the speed, I am going to choose 40. And then leave everything the way it is. I am going to click on process. And by the way, I sized it to whatever size I needed for my lid. Click on uh, process. This is a preview of what we will get. And then click on start. 
Now it says the machine is ready to engrave, so I'm just going to push the start button. All right, all right, our cat pocket, it's done. And here it is. You can see pretty deep pocket. We should have no problem putting this uh, one eight material in it. So now I need to cut the cat out. To cut the cat, I'll place the material kind of in the same place where my walnut was. This is a hard maple, an eighth of an inch. And we need to focus again because now this material, it's a lot thinner. So I'm going back to my computer and I am going to focus it again. And then I could go through the marking again so you can mark the material, but I already you know, know that it's roughly in the same area and it doesn't matter for this because I don't need to center it or anything like that. So what I'll do here, I'll click on the cat and go to cut. And for this one, I'm going to go to power 100 and I'm going to put the speed uh, six. I think that's going to be way too much power for it, but we'll try it. And then let's see. So we have power 100, speed six for cutting. I am going to click on framing just to kind of see where it's going to frame. Make sure it still stays on my material. And it's going to be roughly right there. I am happy with that. I'm going to say frame complete. I am going to close the cover. And then, you know what, you guys, we need to actually enlarge this design by 0 0.1 millimeters. And that is the laser uh, curve. That's how big the laser is. So what I do, I select my design and then I go to outline and what we are in inches. I want to go to millimeters. So click on settings and change it to millimeters because it's easier because I know the laser spot is 0 0.01 millimeter. It says so in the manual. And then I am going to go into outline and I'm going to offset it by 0 0.1. And we are in millimeters. Enter it, say OK. And now if we zoom in really, really close, we should have two lines in there. And we do. So we need to select the smaller design and delete it. All right, so now we accounted for our curve and it's time to cut this little cat. Set it up again, power 100, speed 6 for the cut and go to process. That's our preview and click on start. And then push the button on the front of the machine. All right, and here is our cut design. Just as I thought, way too much power, but it cut really nicely. No scorch marks. Really nice clean lines. I have to make sure I'm not losing my pieces. And let's go put this uh, inlay together, see how it fits. So here is our pocket on the walnut piece, and then we have our little cat piece. And uh, let's see. Oop, I think we're missing a ear. I'm going to go 
searching the machine, I think it fell from the grid. I found our piece. And let's put this kitty cat together. I will start with the little piece. I am using, um, you know what, let me use a different glue, a quicker set, just because I don't have that much time. I'm using tight bound quick set. And I'm just going to put some wood glue right there into the pocket. And stick our little ear in there. There we go. It's okay if we put glue all over on the outside because we will send it down anyway. So, you know, it's okay. There is the little face piece. And you see the pocket was just the perfect size. And now the big piece will go over here. I always put too much glue, just a habit. And now let's fit it in here. It's very, very nicely. I have a wet wipe in here. I'm gonna wipe the excess glue. I think inlays, it's such a nice way to embellish a box or any project really. It just makes it special. And to make sure my wood is not sticking to my design, first I want to make sure this wood is large enough. It is. I will put some blue tape on it. That way I will know it will not stick to my lid. And I will place it right over my kitty cat and then I gotta go get some clamps. I'll be using these clamps. I bought these clamps on Amazon not too long ago and I absolutely love them. Plus they are really, really cheap. I'll put them in the description below if you're looking for some clamps like this. I like them because they're small. Um, for disclaimer, it is an affiliate link. So if you purchase using my link, that means to no extra cost to you, I will get a small commission. So just putting that out there. Clamping this really, really good. And then I'll let it sit in the clamps for maybe, well, you would want to leave it a few hours. I'm only going to leave it like 30 minutes. It's been about 30 minutes or so. So I'm going to take this out of the clamps, see what we're looking like. So we can keep on working on this project. Pried it open. And now we need to give it a good sanding. Now, because this is a small piece, uh, I'll be temporarily gluing the back of it to my piece of plywood here, just because I cannot hold it with my hands for sanding. And I do not want this to be like flying around. So let's see, I'm gonna put some blue tape on my piece of plywood as well. And then we'll use some CA glue. I'm gonna put it in the back of my board. And then some accelerator over here. Sandwich them together. And let me go get the sander. We're gonna give it a good sanding, see what it looks like. So that is an easy trick to send small pieces, tape it to a bigger piece, it will save your fingers. In fact, the biggest injury I've ever got in my shop is from the sander. I ran the edge of the sander into my finger and it went about a quarter inch deep. So that was pretty bad. Now, this is not a finished lid. I have to put the rabbit and fit it into the box, but I'm going to put the finish on it just so you can see what it looks like. For the finish, I'll be using this uh, Walrus Oil Furniture Finish. 
and um, if you're interested on getting that oil it's a great oil for boxes or any piece of furniture and uh, I'll put it in the link in the description below it is an affiliate link so if you do decide to use it I will get a small commission on it to no extra cost to you I put some of that oil onto this container and now I'm just going to rub it in I think for me inlays is my favorite thing to do with a laser like favorite favorite because I could never do this kind of inlay with a router like you can do many inlays with a router but nothing this kind of you know elaborate well not that this design it's elaborate but you know what I mean so usually you would leave that oil soaking there for a while but I'm gonna wipe it off just to show it to you and this is our beautiful kitty cat inlay very clean there's no gaps or anything everything just looks perfect and I love the way it's looking and here is our finished box it's still wet I just finished putting the oil onto the box and I think it ended up super super cute and uh, it was really easy to make it didn't take long at all inlays with a laser it is incredibly easy anybody can do it so but it really really you know elevates your woodworking skills quite a lot you know this box would have been quite boring with just the walnut top but with that inlay it just made it into something special i hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new thank you so much for watching my name is skylar ewing and i'll see you in my next video